Why does California still have a drought problem? After weeks of rain, including a series of so-called atmospheric rivers, causing scenes like this, the drought that has gripped the western United States remains far from over. Let's take a closer look at what's behind California's water issues. Well, as the real estate agents say, it's all about location, location, location. Virtually none of the storms have reached the Colorado River Basin, which means a river that provides drinking water to 40 million people in seven states will continue to be endangered. And despite a deluge that by one estimate has been expected to dump more than 80 trillion litres of water, the state's major reservoirs remain well below their historic average. Lake Shasta and Lake Oroville are still at 42% and 47% of capacity, according to state data. So statewide reservoir storage has been coming up nicely, and we're above 80% of average now, which is great. Uh, that's a substantial improvement since Christmas. But some of the largest reservoirs that are really important for water supply, like Lake Oroville and Lake Shasta, uh, still have lots of space in them because they weren't under the, under the path of the wettest storms. California has an infrastructure problem. Its large network of cement canals lack the capacity to capture excess stormwater. On top of this, snowpack in the mountains is melting more rapidly each spring with temperatures rising. And the state lacks enough storage capacity to conserve the runoff. California Governor Gavin Newsom plans to ramp up infrastructure spending. But until that money is converted to projects, excess stormwater will continue to drain into the Pacific Ocean. We have to adapt to that new reality and we have to change our approach so we can capture more of that stormwater. Climate change means more weather extremes. As California experiences more severe droughts and heat waves, its occasional wet years are expected to be excessively rainy. A report published in the journal Nature last year found 2000 to 2021 to be the driest 22-year period for southwestern North America in at least 1,200 years. You, you could think of the watershed in California a little bit like a sponge. The sponge that is our watershed was very, very dry leading up to this water year. And if you dump water on a sponge that's next to your sink, it's going to have to fill up that sponge before it begins to overflow and actually enter the sink. Same is true with California. And the sponge that we have is very big because we're not we're talking about not just long term depletion of soil moisture, but also long term depletion of our groundwater reservoirs of, of our aquifers.